Welcome to Post Data, your channel for all round news from all over the world. Um, in a remarkable result that defied modern precedent, Emmanuel Macron was yesterday re elected president of France. In the second and final round of voting, the centrist incumbent appears to have secured an impressive 58.5% of the vote, soundly defeating the nationalist populist Marine Le Pen, who scored 41.5%, according to figures released by France's Interior Ministry, with more than 90% of the vote counted. Mr. Macron is the first sitting president, French president, to have been re-elected for 20 years. He also now becomes the only president under the Fifth Republic to have been returned to office by direct universal suffrage while holding a parliamentary majority. Well, a congratulations to Emmanuel Macron. Now, who is this man? Well, Emmanuel Jean-Michel Frédéric Macron was born on the 21st of December in 1977. He is a French politician who has been serving as president of France since 14th May 2017 and now has been re-elected as president of France. Well, he was born in Amiens and he studied philosophy at Paris Notre University later completing a master's degree in public affairs at Sciences Po and graduating from the École Nationale d'Administration in 2004. He worked as a, civil, uh, as a senior civil servant at the Inspectorate General of Finances and later became an investment banker at Rothschild and Company. Well, he was appointed a deputy secretary general by President Franz Francois Hollande shortly after his election in May 2012, making Macron one of Hollande's senior advisors. He was later appointed to the French cabinet as Minister of the Economy, Industry and Digital Affairs in August 2014 by Prime Minister Manuel Valls. In this role, Macron championed a number of business-friendly reforms and he later on resigned from the cabinet in August 2016, launching a campaign for the 2017 French presidential election. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for keeping it locked right here on Post Data, and we'll continue to bring you up-to-date news on what is happening all over the world.